Okay, we're going to tie a still water scud pattern that uh, we fished just recently and it was really successful. Um, we were fishing a lake that was just filled with scuds and most of our other scud patterns would just get overlooked. Uh, but there was something about this one that really worked well. Um, I've got an Allen N205BL hook with a 3.2 millimeter bead. Um, I actually prefer a uh, N. 204 BL uh, scud hook on this as well. I mean either either hook works But anyway uh, before I get started, I'm, I'm going to dress it with uh, some 015 lead free wire and just kind of uh, Build up a little bit of an underbody. This will also seat the bead I've got some Montana fly uh, 3 out thread in olive and uh, the 3 out thread is is definitely not too big for this this pattern I'm tying it on a size 10 right now I'm tying it on this size because uh, that's about the size of scud that we saw in this lake they were just huge alright another cool product we've been playing with lately is this Jason nymph skin and so I've got the the olive color or the green color and uh, it comes with uh, several different colors in a pack. It's actually quite a bit of skin. Um, what I'm going to do is I've actually cut off a little notch and I'm going to use that to, to tie in my my nymph skin and as I go back toward the, the back of the scud I'm just going to kind of pull it a little bit tight. Alright and then another cool effect is this this fly is going to have an under I guess an under case of Mirage tinsel and this is the the opal color it really gives off a lot of light so I'm going to tie that in next and uh, and the last thing to tie in there is uh, I'm going to rib the fly with some copper brown um, small UTC thread. And one of the cool things about this uh, Montana fly thread is you can use the split thread dubbing loop technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my my vise uh, so that the fly's laying horizontal like that, so that it, my thread doesn't slip off the back of it, and then I'm going to untwist it until I get the the thread fairly flat. All right, so I've got my thread hanging down. I've I've untwisted it to make it flat, and now I'm just going to use like a the point of a barbless hook to get in there and and create a, a split thread uh, so I can use a split thread dubbing loop. Okay I'm going to take some bronze peacock Arizona synthetic dubbing. I'm just going to load this this loop loop up very sparsely. Once I've got that loop loaded up just going to twist it up. All right, once I've got my loop, I'm just going to wrap up the hook shank. And I've just got just enough to to make this scud work. I'm going to preen the fibers down. And now I'm going to take this uh mylar and pull it up over the top of the fly. Tie that down. And now I'm going to take this uh, nymph skin and the, the key here is as you see if I if I just pull it up over the top it just kind of looks green but if I pull it up over kind of tight and then tie it off when I wrap the wire through it the shine from that tinsel is really going to come through on the fly. And 
I'm going to leave a little bit of a space right behind the bead to put a little pink hot spot in. Now I'm going to take the wire and just kind of wiggle it. On the near side, when you wrap this around the the back of the scud, these fibers are going to want to kind of jump up and and wrap around the back, so it's important to take those and and push them down. Um, now as I wrap this, I'm pulling down pretty hard to sink it down into uh, the the nymph skin and the mylar, and that will help the flash come out. It's looking kind of ratty on the body, but that's okay because I'm going to brush it out again. So as you can see, I just ribbed up the scud. And I'll just tie that off. We're going to get in here now with some kind of pipe cleaner type thing and pick out those fibers. And the reason I chose bronze peacock is we actually found sow bugs in the lake too. And they were a, a much darker color than the normal and so um, this bronze peacock color kind of covers both spectrums of the dark, uh, dark grayish, dark bronze and uh, the olive scuds. Okay now I'm just going to take some pink sow scud dubbing. You can use ice dub. You can use anything that's just a little bit brighter color, whether it's orange or pink or whatever color you like. And I'm just going to build up a little bit of a hot spot right there. And then I'm also going to do a hot spot in the middle of the fly with the epoxy. All right, so we could fish that right now. That uh, that will fish great, but uh, to give it one more element of of uh, bugginess, we're gonna put a layer of epoxy on the back, and I'm gonna use this new UV fly paint in orange from Loon. It's really cool stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make just an orange glob right in the middle of the back. Just kind of like that. And I'm not going to smear it around or anything, I'm just going to cure it just like that. You can see how much light that, that uh, epoxy picks up. Now I'm just going to take some of the, the Loon Thin epoxy and just build up a shell back now. And before I get too thick, I'm just going to cure it and then I'll put one, one more layer on it. Right, there you have it, a Stillwater's kind of hot spot scud. Uh, fished it last weekend and it really produced well for us.